And Ted was right. Things did seem to just work out. Merlin, to everyone's surprise, was neither an ally to evil nor a beacon of good. His allegiances, just as legend had foretold, were entirely his own. Still, James sensed a nobility in the ancient and unpredictable wizard. Not a goodness, exactly, but a desire to be good. It would be a close thing, but James thought that perhaps, just perhaps, Merlin might, in fact, help them. Sometime later, when Professor Jackson gave James the strange doll that had been found in Madame Delacroix's quarters, James didn't know what to make of it. He looked a bit like himself, though. After that, life was not necessarily easier, but a weight seemed to have been lifted from James' shoulders. He didn't know what it meant, or what the future might hold. But one thing was certain. He no longer felt stifled under the shadow of his father. The weight of the legend had become a ladder of potential. A ladder that James thought he could climb in the years to come. His father's battle was over. James had begun. Doesn't look good, mate. They might actually split this time. But hey, it leaves Petra open. Any lad would fancy getting with her. Well, I'd best be meeting up with Ted. We'll see you in the train. So what do you think it does? I don't know. I wouldn't trust if I were you. Jackson gives me the wheelies. I don't think it'll hurt me. Jackson was on our side the whole time, remember? Still, I don't know. James. Mr. Walker, would you mind if I had a word with Mr. Potter? Sure. I'll meet up with you later. All right. I presume you're wondering about that doll, James. All year long, Madame Delacroix was tricking you, James. You see, she used two voodoo dolls. She put the larger in front of the smaller one. She used a candle to cast a shadow of the larger one onto the smaller one. As if, As if I was living in the shadow of my father. Precisely, James. So does this mean I won't feel as though I'm living in the shadow of my father? That, James, is your decision. But what about the bloodline? Voldemort's bloodline, is it true? I do not know that much about Voldemort. But I do indeed believe there is a bloodline. For now we can hope for the best and expect the worst. Say, Mullen, what's in the bag? You see, James, when I came back, some things followed me. This bag is what I used to capture these things. And what kind of things came back with you? Well, another time then, you best be off. It's not over. Is it? The world can steer us in many directions, James Potter. But I believe it has just begun.
much to hold.